Hey guys, this is Introducing Emmy, and uh, we're back with another Zisto Twitch icon, but I think this is going to probably be the last one for a little bit. And as you can see, we're going to be doing Zedsto. I think that, yeah, is that his name in Terraria? I can't remember. I think it's Zedsto for the um, for the Z to E, E to Z uh, Terraria server. Anyway, so that's what we're going to be doing today. And um, I was sitting here thinking, I think I'm actually... Going to um, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, look how dark that is! Wow, that would also help if it was on normal. I think I'm actually going to just trace the icon, but make it more drawy. It's just I'm not sure how to fit this incredible beard. Woof, there's not a lot to work with, to be honest. I don't know if this is even... Oh, well, I'm going to try to do that for now. See if I can at least, like, rough out the proportions and then do whatever I want. Yep. Oh, I'm going to turn off lazy and the zoom in. Lazy and Izumi starts uh, automatically with Photoshop. So that's how I have it set up, anyway. So, um... So I often forget I probably shouldn't have it start with Photoshop because honestly usually when I go to Photoshop the first thing I'm going to do in Photoshop is not inking something so it's kind of a weird thing to have that um, going So I'm thinking like an ear should probably be there. You know, it's like Terraria uh, avatars are detailed in their not detailedness, meaning like they're just so this they're so small. If you've ever played Terraria or seen it before, so um, so it's just not a lot to work with. But in some weird ways, there's stuff that's, like, implied by very little, uh... By very little detail. So I think we should give him eyebrows. So here's the deal. I'm going to do this as illustrated as I want to do it, meaning like I'm going to be breaking away from this pixelated look because if he just wanted... Excuse me, if he just wanted uh, the normal, the actual Terraria icon to be his icon, I think he would have done that. I'm just worried people are gonna like be sending me messages on Twitter or YouTube and be like, "Does look anything like him?" <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying my very hardest. And then he's got. Two donks up here. Man, his beard is just so long. It's like I don't know where to put it all. Oh, I feel bad. He requested this, I think, Tuesday maybe, but Wednesday I had to get an MRI done on my hip and a CT scan. 
me and my legendary hip issues and um it hurt a lot <laughs> i had to have a lot of injections done and i didn't feel like sitting at the computer for a few days i just laid on my belly and ached it was no fun There we go. Oh, that's that's something right there. So first things first, I want the longest part of the beard to be centered. Like so, I think. And He looks like he's a distant relative of generic <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to put, like, a piece of his shoulder armor in or something, just because, one, I think it looks cool how high it, like, comes up. It comes, like, right up to the ear line there, if you can see that. Like, I guess if he had an ear, he doesn't really have an ear, but <laughs> if he had an ear, it would be right up to it. I'm not even totally sure which armor set this is. I, I got this screen cap from like the very first episode so that I could see what he looked like under the goggles because I couldn't remember. And then I got the, the one on the right from the most recent episode he had posted. Um... One other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to curve the hair a little more so that it looks like it's sitting away from his head. It's kind of strange to be like bringing a Terraria character into like a more cartoony appearance. They just don't look like they're made for it. <laughs> I wish there was something else I could put in here. I feel like there's so much empty space around him, but I guess there was a lot of empty space in the other ones. Okay, so, um, let's sink it. Now, we need my zoom -a zoom -a. So speaking of my hip, I might be going into surgery at some point. I'm just not sure when. But if that happens, there probably isn't going to be any con content for me for a little bit just because it's, it's hard to sit at a computer and stuff. Well, I mean, it's already hard to sit at a computer, but I'm going to be even more in pain and not happy. <laughs> but that's okay. My book is coming out here shortly, so it'll give me time to sign books and ship books and... 
do business related things away from the computer. I feel so bad I've shortened the epic beard. I guess I could maybe Do something like that. Does that look great? Lemo. I'm doing it. I'd feel terrible if the epic beard wasn't there. Yeah, I like that. In fact, um, I knew something was wrong with the world until now, but now epic beard is here. Epic terraria beard. <laughs> <laughs> Having problems here. So, while I was uh, taking some time away from the computer, and then getting caught up on my Batman, you guys, well, I don't know, some of you probably don't know that I'm actually like a really big Batman fan, at least of the comics and uh, the animated series. But, uh, yeah, so I was taking time to get caught up on the, on the Batman. And actually, I've been reading the new 52. And I know a lot of people are really um, torn <laughs> about the new 52. You know, they've made some big mechanical changes on characters' backstories and stuff. It's, it's much different from New Earth, that's for sure. But I don't know. I'm enjoying it. A lot of characters that didn't have backstories have backstories now or more developed backstories. I, I love that kind of stuff. And I mean, I'm going to be real honest here. I don't read Batman for Batman. I read Batman for the villains. I love them. I love the rogue gallery so, so much. Um, but it's so fun reading the New 52 because I feel like I'm coming in on the, the ground floor, you know, of Batman. And um, I've always had to, like, scour comic book shops and stuff to like find ones that I'm missing in the old series you know like Shadow of the Bat and um uh was Dark Knight a series from back then? I can't remember now oh well it doesn't matter sorry I'm having a moment but anyway so like it's really cool to get to um be there from like the get go and like know everything that's going on and keeping up to date with the issues and stuff. It's it's really fun. Also, um, Scarecrow and Mad Hatter, my two favorite villains, have gotten like a ton more story time, screen time. I don't know how you would say that, but yeah, that's so awesome. Hmm. Should probably be like that, huh? Because like the lens is sitting in. What's another series that I've started to read? Oh, um, Little Little Gotham by um, Mugen. I think that's how you pronounce his name, Mugen. He's normally like a cover artist for different Batman DC series. Like, I think he's done some covers from Batman Beyond and things like that. But he started his own series called Little Gotham. Or Lil Gotham, like L apostrophe I L. Where like everybody's tiny and cute. And... 
It's delightful. It is a delight. So what I think I'm going to do here is when I go to color this, I'm going to actually color this piece of the line art to be like this lightish blue to imply that the lens is there. It's just that I'm using kind of a bold brush right now or a thicker brush and it's uh, it's a little hard to show that detail in there. Uh, even with lazy Nizumi, I still end up drawing my, doing my inks like a hundred times. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to draw the side of the nostril or not. I kind of like it open. In fact, I would even like it a little further out maybe. that. It's too bad that in Terraria you can't get like a pig mask. As far as I know you can't anyway. Uh, I'm, I don't play Terraria so I'm not like super well versed with it. All I know is what I've seen other people play with it. But anyway it'd be cool if you could get a pig mask. Sort of like you can get the boar helm in Dark Souls or you can be a pig man in Minecraft just to like keep the whole theme going. I don't know. Maybe he like wants to break away from the whole pig thing every now and then. It's tiring being a pig man, I guess. See, now we gotta make the eyebrow come out here. In fact, let's just make the eyebrows black. Alright, okay, so let's, um, let's color this. So this was the best picture I could find, like, in the light of his character, so we're just going to work with that, and um, I'll try to keep the colors looking nice and everything. Let's saturate this. Let's actually make it a little on the redder side. The reason I like really oversaturate this stuff is I don't want uh, it to get lost in the line art when I have to shrink it down. Like I don't want it to see like I'm not sure if his skin is really supposed to be that orange but I honestly kind of like it like being that orange I mean I think some of it's because um this was lit by Etho with a torch you can't see him I cut him out of the panel but Etho was standing here with a torch lighting this little part up so it has this kind of like or orangish uh look to it but I kind of like it. I think it'll look nice when we shrink it down like I think it'll be really defined Yeah, we're going to go a little lighter, a little more saturated. Uh, 
By the way, if you're wondering how I expand my um, my selection tool, it's because I have a, a hotkey set up to do it. It's not like some magical, unheard of thing in Photoshop that I've figured out or something. I, I actually, because I use it so much, I use that that mode. I um, made a hotkey shortcut for it. Okay, so now we're gonna color our lines a little bit here. Let's create a clipping mask. Uh, and we're going to find that lens. Okay, just like that. Yeah. I'm having like an internal debate with myself about how far. Again, this is such a moot point because when it's shrunk way down, you're not even going to be able to tell. Um, and let's do our sh shadows real quick. Um, just pick a color and go for it. So I know that these shadows don't work, like they're not the right color, so I'm going to, um, I'll fix them in a minute here, but first let's just get them down. Must enhance the beard. I'm not sure about that nose shadow. I'm just not sure. Thing is, I just don't have a whole lot of um, space to work with here, so every little bit has to count towards something, you know what I mean? And if it takes away, like, like if this little, see I look down here in my navigator, and if this little shadow looks like a little mouth or something, I'm going to have to get rid of it. And it goes against my nature of, like, wanting to shade all the things. Ah, okay, so now we have a sloppy mess. <laughs> no, what we have here is we just need to go outside the lines. Just 
just like that. Now what is this? Okay, so this is highlights. Can't even tell if I spelled that right. <laughs> yes, I did. Sorry, my glasses are falling down a little bit. Unprofessional. So let's select all the brown. And we're just going to lighten this a teeny tiny bit, but still keep it really saturated. Okay. And then let's go to our orange. Same deal, we just want to keep it really saturated, but quite a bit lighter. And our blues and propels. Just like that. Now, I don't know how I managed to do this, but it's the wrong color. Look how weird that looks. <laughs> okay, so let's apply it back down. And uh, let's put some, some beard highlights here. I don't like that. Let's do it in a yellow. How about a pink? Kind of like it in the pink. I'm sorry that sometimes when I'm drawing I kind of don't talk for a minute. It's just because I'm figuring out all the things. Every single thing that could be figured out, I'm, I'm figuring it out. Okay, one more there for good luck. Okay, and um, I think I am going to adjust the color just a tiny bit because this isn't exactly the look I was going for. Um, keep it saturated. Let's do that orange looks really cool. Got it. Hello. <laughs> Having too much fun here. I'm like, woo! <laughs> okay, one last thing is there's like no definition to these goggles, and that kind of bothers me. That kind of bothers me. So, it would help if you could see such a thing. No, not multiply. Ah, I'm opening up everything. Nope. Up. Oh. Come on, I need you to get out of that folder right now. There we go. Okay. No, not Nizal. I'm having problems here.
I don't mind it, but I don't love it. <laughs> Let me, um, let's go grayer. Let's go darker. There. I actually think that that's perfect. <laughs> doesn't have to be anything wild. It just has to be there. bugging me there's no like line there but I can't say that I really like it when there is one see I keep checking down this navigator to see what it looks like every time I make like a little teeny change a white color I used. No, it's not. <laughs> I hear so many children screaming outside right now. It's like some kind of children murdering factory at my pool. It's funny how, I think that's like one of the things that signifies you to be an adult, is children screaming sets you off. And not just because, like, oh, it's annoying, but like when you're a kid and you hear other kids scream, it's like, oh, well, that's what we do. We scream. Well, not all of us. I wasn't much of a screamer, but it wasn't unexpected as a child to hear other children screaming. But as an adult, when you hear it, you're just like, well, children are dying. I better go check out what's going on. Oh, I should probably get rid of that sketch, huh? And, uh, there we go. Okay, one last thing. Is I want this to curve right there, and I want this to break through that curve. Just trying something. Okay, so let's um, just put a thicker outline around this. Let's erase anything that kind of doesn't fit. Keep it all neat and tidy. Just gonna collapse it down and put it in with all the others, and then we'll name this Z Sto. Okay. So, um, close this ref. So there it is, completed. But what I'm really curious to see is uh, how it looks teeny tiny. So we're gonna go 56, and uh, yeah, I think it looks. Good. Wait, was that this? No, that's not the actual size, is it? <laughs> No, I think it's uh, 28, um, 28, oh goodness. 
<laughs> I was like, wow, looks great. That's not the size. Okay, well, it still looks good, don't you think? I think it still reads pretty good. Yeah, it's important to, to look at these kind of things. I think the only thing I might do is that other lens. It's kind of bugging me. <laughs> like, it doesn't... Uh, the children's screaming. It's bugging me. Okay. So let's try that again. Sorry if you don't want to watch the video anymore. You don't have to. <laughs> it's uh It's in its last moments. There we go. I think that's better because now the other let <laughs> Mommy, I don't know what to do. Okay. I should stop messing with it after she messes with it some more. Okay, that that's it. Calling it done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to finish up saving these and uh, put the video up and you'll see it and huzzah. All right, I'll see you guys next time.